Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? Oh, this is the fan, isn't it? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. It's only just getting out there now. Uh oh, it's you. <laughs> Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Hey, can I get your picture? There's something off about this guy, too. But what harm can a picture do, I guess? I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander <laughs> Shepard unless I get a picture. Oh, he's got a crush on You're me. A hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Oh no. He's got me holding the gun. Is he gonna use that like, oh look, Thanks he's gonna again, fire on people. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. This is... all of that just is really weird. He's all talking about how I'm beautiful. Is it because his wife likes me? Well, I mean, he could be bisexual. Just, it was all very kind of creepy. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Do I know this person? Finch? Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. I was in a gang? <laughs> Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. Oh, I guess I did. My history is a matter of public record. I've got nothing to hide. Really? What if someone gave an interview talking about Commander Shepard's history in the gangs? We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old times' sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. Why? What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. Is that a drug? You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. Red sand? You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. You know what? If everyone knows about my history... <clears throat> nah. Doesn't feel right. My gang days are over, Finch. Get out of my way. Suit yourself, Shepard. If you change your mind, he's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. And Shepard, you might not run with the Reds anymore, but you really don't want us as your enemies. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Now that's still in the news, huh? I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. Oh yeah, that's their, like, religion or whatever, isn't it? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? 
Uh, what's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered <laughs> evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Is, he, is this asking if I'm saying, or, or is this like, are you going to arrest him? Or is this, do it, arrest him? Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. Hmm. This makes me think of um, on the, the street just up from where I work. I have to walk this way to go get my lunch and stuff every day, but there's this one guy who his voice is nearly unintelligible and he's just standing there screaming Bible verses at anyone and everyone who pass by. And he, he's not like homeless or, or crazy or anything. He's just some guy, <laughs> but he's also wearing just this like neon yellow shirt too, but just constantly screaming. You can hear it just blocks away. I'm like, God, I wish they could make him have a permit. Anyway, I'll talk to this guy. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Sounds like someone doesn't have max charisma. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. God, his little point right there looks like just the tip of a penis. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. See, now that's how it's done. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Um, can I help you people? I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. So, is there, a, is the baby, like, <laughs> is there something wrong with the baby that they need to be fixed? I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. Oh, no. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Oh, well. So she's just been reading stories on the internet, well, the extranet, about how this could harm her baby. 
Oh no, she's like one of those anti-vaxxer mothers, isn't she? What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances the gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Oh, Lord. Don't you understand? If my baby is that 1 in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. So, even though I personally think she should get the gene therapy, I also am of the opinion that a woman can do whatever she wants with her body and her child. You know, if the, even though I personally think it's better, it's her right. She's the mother. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. Yes, but it is still her choice. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is. I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. But you're not the father. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Oof, that is a difficult choice, but yep, it is not up to me. It's that is a thing that's for a mother to decide whether or not I personally agree. Greetings, Earth Clan. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the Spectres, yes? I am indeed, thank you. It's a great honor. One you are no doubt ready for. A word of warning, though. There are many eyes watching you now, Commander. <laughs> Some of them want to see you fail. <laughs> that way he's looking around. I, however, wish you only success. Perform well and you bring the Earth Clan one step closer to joining the Council. And if they let your people in, maybe there is hope for my own species one day, yes? Maybe so. And I've already asked all that stuff. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I think I've pretty much looked around at everything, so I'm back here at Flux, and we're gonna get this show on the road. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? You know it. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Let's go. Alright, one short elevator right away. Kaiden's just doing a couple squats back there, it's fine. It's gotta keep those buns. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast. <laughs> the production will open <laughs> dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Oh man, I want to watch Kitt that. Claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Oh man, that sounds wonderful, and I want to watch it. No, oh, I hear my neighbor being very loud. Maybe I should close my door. She likes to make very loud, long phone calls. Like, right at her window. And it always, the sound just carries right over inside to my house. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in... Oh, what's he gonna do? Anderson, what are you doing here? Punch him! Punch I him! Didn't send him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I was, I was kind of kidding, but I'm glad he did. 
All right, we are getting Get out of here. here now. We are going renegade. But, you know, not real renegade. We're still we're still good boys. We cannot go back to the Citadel now. It's good I got everything out of the way that I wanted to do. The only thing I was able to purchase, I did buy some licenses, so my ship should have more stuff on it, but um, I also bought uh, a much nicer armor for a Rex. Uh, that was pretty much it. Oh no, I did I did find a, a Corian armor. I need to go down and put that on, um, uh, what's her name, Tali? Was that her name? I know there's Liara and then Tali. I keep wanting to say Talia, but that's not right. What's this X over here? There it is, Tali. Look what I got for you! Oh, it's a significant improvement. Yes. Shield modulator 5, sure. And nothing, because I ended up selling all the stuff that was like 6 and under. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oops! Too late. <laughs> There's an X here, but I don't know why. Thought maybe it would be something about Ashley, like, oh, this was where Ashley always stood. Stealing an alliance ship? Risky stuff. Yeah, do you but like I'm it right though? You, <laughs> it's the least I can do. Glad to have you with us. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. You'll get us through, Shepard. So long, Rex. Shepard. Garrus, what do you got to say about this? I can't believe we stole the Normandy. After everything you told me, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? <laughs> I could just say, goodbye. <laughs> Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. I don't know if he would have anything new on him yet, since I only just got those licenses. Tali, what do you think of this? We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting. <laughs> I like the way I you think. What the council would do to us if we got caught. Your father probably had some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute us himself. Well, the Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. Was this something before? I think... I think I've already heard this. What was your father like? I want to talk about something else. Like what? Like goodbye. I should go. See you later. What about some of the plain old NPCs? Heard we're headed into the Terminus systems, Commander. Don't worry, sir. The Normandy's a hell of a ship. She'll get us through this. Good to have you on board. Oh, more Codex. You got nothing. What about Presley? Does he have anything new to say yet? Oh, also, where is Kaiden? I gotta go talk to him. We gotta do some more flirting. Bring him up to my stateroom. Hey, boyfriend, where you at? What you doing? There you are, over here in your spot, playing your computer games. It's always sweaty when I woke up. 
Anything you need, Commander? Ooh, about Williams. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, sir. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on a coups? Hmm. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, sir. Well, how about any of these? What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, as old as the universe, apparently. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for you. You always say that. We'll Come have time on. For personal debriefings later. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. I haven't talked to um, Liara in a bit. Dr. Chakwas, who never says anything new. She might this time, because this is a big change of everything. This will all be over soon, Shepard. One way or another. Oh, that's it. No dialogue choices, just this will be over soon. It's strange, being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. Oh, you know I won't. I guess that's it. I don't suppose there's anything like any kind of stuff to look at in my uh, in my room. Where are the crew quarters, by the way? Yeah, there's nothing in here. Maybe the crew quarters you have to go farther on the elevator or something, or it's a different stop. There has to be like a a birthing somewhere. Presley. Can't believe we stole the Normandy. I know we'll all be court martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. I'm glad to give you some excitement, old man. Nobody else to talk to there. What about Joker? I'm sure he loves this. Aw, oh, damn it, no sign of pursuit? I was hoping the council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. It's not over yet. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide and seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. <laughs> so you need something? No, just checking in. I have to go. All right, see ya. All right, so where are we, where are we headed from here? Going to Ilos. Use the Mu relay, relay to go to Ilos and stop Saren before he uses the conduit to unleash a Reaper invasion on the galaxy. So we have to go through the Terminus systems to get to the Mu Relay. I'm sure that was on the galaxy map before, off in like the upper right area. 